busy. We've got some rain and some wind heading our way. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. We do have some patchy showers that are possible tomorrow, and it's from this complex that we see out over the Midwest right now. It's going to move through pretty quickly. It's coming in from the Pacific Northwest, and we do expect to cool down from this system. Slight chance for some thunderstorms for folks up in Virginia tomorrow, but we should be just out of this zone for you, so that's looking good. But we do have wind advisories up. We're looking at gusts to 45 miles an hour potentially, and this could create some spotty outages for us. Also, we want to watch for those high profile vehicles in the mountain passes it's more difficult to drive during these conditions. We also see the spotty shower starting early morning. Now the clouds and the mountains and the foothills likely to hang in there for a good bit. You might see some cloud thinning at times through middle of the day. Patchy showers are possible, but the rainfall total should be light. We're looking at a 10th to maybe 15 hundredths of an inch from the system, and this is the scattered stuff that happens ahead of the cold front. So we're getting a good flow out of the south and southwest. We're going to be gusty everywhere tomorrow. The wind advisories though are up for the mountains, and here comes that front. By around 3 or 4 o'clock, we start to see a line form. Now it looks to move through very quickly. We're looking at those scattered showers rolling in within an hour's time or maybe lasting for only 20 minutes, if that, as it rolls through. But we're expecting a big cool down on the back edge of this, and then we dry out and clear out for your Monday. So it's definitely going to be a colder day looking ahead into Monday. But for now, your gusts, they're going to be higher. You can see here right around noontime, some of the forecast wind as that low is getting closer, the front lifting in the warm front first lifts to our north and that could create some gusts there 34 to near 45 miles an hour from Sparta through Jefferson. We've got some 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts possible in the triad. We look at the 30s for gusts as we get you through the afternoon. This is when that cold front begins to advance, picking up our rain chances through about six, seven o'clock across the triad and we clear out so quickly. We'll also cool down quickly through early Monday morning, but the winds stay up for just a little while. You can see also another view here. The scattered showers coming in ahead of the system. Here comes the front and by about six o'clock we see most of that begin to clear out. So you're clearing sooner from west to east. You have those gusts that'll stay up with us through early morning on Monday, and it'll take a little bit for those winds to drop back. Your temperatures at 49 degrees tomorrow morning to near 64 through noontime, and winds are south southwesterly 15 to 25. So we could gust as high as 25 in the tri. We've got you at 69 degrees for afternoon highs and even some low 70s possible. And in the foothills, we start off with some good chances of light showers in the morning, drop you back through the noon hour and increase those rain chances right ahead of the cold front. Similar conditions in the mountains, but we keep you more consistent with the clouds and the shower chances. They increase as we get you through the afternoon. The showers along with the wind. Remember, we have wind advisories there. Right now, winds are calm. We're at 53 in Greensboro, 51 in Winston-Salem, and today we hit 64 degrees. We are going to be some 10 degrees cooler than that uh, off and on throughout the week. Look at this. Lots of 50s in this forecast until we hit late week. It also means some frost concerns for Wednesday and Thursday morning. Right now, showery chance on Sunday and a rain chance of 40% with windy conditions. We have a story